when I put a product in somebody's hands for the first time and they go, Ooh, how did you do that? We don't build technology for technology's sake. So we will never compromise on privacy. Your data remains yours. Whether you own one Apple product or many Apple products, we want it to be natural and intuitive and easy for you to use. So welcome, Bob. To Thailand, Sawadika. Sawadika. This is really a Thai way. Thai yeah. style. <laughs> and you learn how to die. I did, just now. <laughs> so, what do you expect like, um, to come to Thailand this trip? What do you expect to see? Well, what I expect to see is just what is here this incredible creativity, this beautiful country, uh, this beautiful store, um, but also people that are doing amazing things in terms of building new companies, new products, new capabilities, and using our products to their fullest. It's really an inspiring place to come to. Right. So I think most of audience would like to know the key success of Apple as your role behind the key success of Apple, like mm -hmm. doing a lot of marketing and product communication. Mm -hmm. What are the secrets? between like you know those communication and success do you have any specific strategy that you could share i think one of the things that is most vital about what we do and how we do it is that we tell product stories mm -hmm. in a way that's really authentic and creates you know potential for people to to kind of explore and then once we have a product in somebody's hands they can just start to do things that maybe they never anticipated be able, being able to do. Um, and for me, one of the best things is when I put a product in somebody's hands for the first time and they go, Ooh, how did you do that? That is what kind I think we're all about, yes. Yeah. But um, are there any challenge or that pressure? Like you have so many product lines so far this day and you know, there are many different culture uh, around the world that you have to communicate. How could yes. you do that? Well, I think we stay f focused on being able to do what we do best, which is to create innovative products um, that blend together the best of technology and the best of creativity. Mm -hmm. It's really more about the focus of staying true to our vision and true to our mission. Um, and that lets you to put all the other things to rest because you just stay on ultimately what we're about, which is bringing those things together in the best way possible. It's very unique that Apple has, you know, like a sense of humor and creative styles. Like, are there any specific strategy onto that? Well, I think it's about being human. It's about connecting with people in a real way. We don't build technology for technology's sake. Mm -hmm. We build products to help people unleash their creativity and, and be more productive. Humor is part of that. Being authentic is part of that. You know, and, and those are the stories that we tell and those are the products that we build. So as Apple is one of the top 10 tech company around the world, in your opinion, like, what is the cutting edge technology that we should focus on this day? There are a number. Um, and obviously one of the things that we have done and focused on is building Apple Silicon and really investing in Apple Silicon as a core fun foundational building block for our technologies. And we think that's incredibly important because it allows us to do a number of things. One of which is we can have this relentless focus on performance per watt. Mm -hmm. Why is that important? It's important because it means extra battery life in your iPad, your iPhone. It means more power efficiency in your Mac. It allows us to create these amazingly beautiful products. Mm -hmm. And so I think when you think about foundational technologies for us, Apple mm -hmm. Silicon is, is right at that core. And of course, we can also do things like we can build in machine learning mm -hmm. um, and we can start to put that in the hands of amazing developers and, and for customers and create mm -hmm. these new features um, and just build on top of that. So I think when we look at foundational technologies, it's things like Apple Silicon, it's things like machine learning um, and you know amazing displays. But again, all of those are built in service of creating products that people, customers can use in, in amazing mm -hmm. ways. Mm -hmm. We don't focus on building technology for technology's sake. We focus on building technologies that allow us to create amazing products. Right now, we're talking more about AI and machine learning. You got any question about like how we turn it off, the AI, because you mm -hmm. know, customer always have lots of preference. Well, what I'd say is that uh, we, 
think about applying our technologies in service of our customers. And we have as a core belief that we provide transparency. Mm -hmm. We put you in control, we leave you in control. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your data, whether it's what features you want to take mm -hmm. uh, advantage of, whether it's you want the camera on or off, whether you want ads or not ads, we bring all of that together and we always give you con control mm -hmm. and we make sure that you're clear on the decisions that you're, that you're making. Mm -hmm. So we will never compromise on privacy. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's one of the things that people worry about in terms of you know, so, some of these new technologies that are coming along. Mm -hmm. um, and we just feel so strongly that that's a fundamental pillar of a great product and a great experience and, mm -hmm. and it's a fundamental human right that we're very vigilant about making sure that you have control and that you have, you know, you're able to sh decide what data you want to share and when. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is so um, uh, important and interesting that um, we see how you set to manage, um, even if like we after date information mm -hmm. that who can just be in control of our like data or users. Yeah, no, I, it is, uh, it, it's certainly a, uh, a time where you want to make sure that you're able to provide that kind of digital legacy because much of our lives is being stored in our photos and in our That's contacts true. and in right. our files. Um, and so we want to make sure that we provide that ability to, to have access to your digital legacy, as we, as we call it. But again, to do it in a very safe and secure way because you can imagine that being misused by people. So um, what are the most innovative products of Apple that you think like you like the most? I'm a parent, so you're kind of asking me which of my children do I love the most? <laughs> that is um, a tough question and, to choose. And, and the answer is I love them all equally. Um, no, I, I think the thing that uh, is true about our products is that across the board, they have amazing elements of, of just you know uh, innovation within them. But the thing that I love the most is when we have a product and we put it in somebody's hands mm -hmm. and they're able to do something that they couldn't do before. Um, and I think here in Thailand, um, iPad and Apple Pencil are just incredible. I, I mean, I am inspired when I see what people are doing with Apple Pencil, when I see students taking notes in, you know, and using them in education and in some of these co-learning spaces, certainly as we launch the 10th gen iPad, marriage, this power of Apple Pencil together with uh, iPad yeah. is, is truly inspiring and especially here in Thailand. So I take iPad as an answer. <laughs> As an example. <laughs> As an example. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I asked that question to Tim and Tim said, it's Apple Watch. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry Tim gave that. it away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about some of the iPad. Like, what, what are the big changes? So are there any big change um, among the journey? Yeah. Well, certainly the, uh, the coming back to my earlier point, uh, being able to bring the power of Apple Silicon um, to all of our iPads has just been has been transformative, um, and it's something that is incredibly important as you look at the you know uh, the iPad 10th generation with A14 Bionic, and then the iPad Pro with M2. Um, you've got just this uh, amazing array of iPads that are perfect for just about anything that you want to do. Um, the iPad 10th generation um, has got this brand new design to it um, that's beautiful, these bold, exciting colors, mm -hmm. a new keyboard uh, folio, uh, the landscape camera. Mm -hmm. It really is, I mean, it, it's an incredible iPad mm -hmm. that allows people to get into iPad and do amazing things with mm -hmm. it. And then if you go to iPad Pro with M2, it's just, it's, anything and everything that you need it to be. It is, it is truly an incredible product. You've got the power of, uh, of M2. You've got these incredible camera systems. Uh, you've got these beautiful uh, displays. Uh, and so the way I look at the iPad line is we have essentially an opportunity for anybody, depending on what they want to do, but all built on this incredible versatility that is core to what iPad's about. You know, in the case of the 10th gen iPad, those colors are beautiful on that um, all screen design. Um, and with the material, you know, the aluminum that we're using, um, it really is, you know, a combination of factors. So it's not a, you know, this is the hot color this year. It's more about what's going to make this product be full and something that we can celebrate and enjoy. Right, but um, just curious to know, like um, being colorful, is it opposite to being minimal? Like, which is the brand identity of Apple? No, again, I, I think it's it's part of our design story. Is they become an expression of you. Mm -hmm. So for me, that yellow is exactly what I wanted 
to express you know how I am and what I, where I am and what I'm what I'm feeling. Um, and so it's really when color is in service of the design and the capability and the function. So it's not minimal or not minimal. It, it's more about it all working together in kind of a core, you know, and a coordinated way. Okay, right now it's quite a big question to, to reviewers. Uh, iPad 10th generation and it looks similar to the iPad Air. Mm -hmm. And about the price range a little bit, mm -hmm. like um, mostly in the iPad, like, 9, 10 generation is supposed to targeting the, the students. Mm. So when we raise the bar on, on the price range, so uh, what are the key factors? Well, I think if you, you know, at the end of the day, what we try and do is to provide our customers choice. Um, and so whether it's the iPad 9th generation all the way to the iPad Pro or the iPad mini, those are all great choices depending on what you're, what you're trying to do. But if we narrow down on the iPad 10th generation, say to, to iPad Air, uh, it's, it's a great example. Both are incredible products, um, but you have some decisions to make or some opportunities, right? Um, you can, with the iPad Air, you've got M1, uh, you've got uh, the laminated display, um, you've got interesting, you know, this interesting set of capabilities and a, and a little bit more performance than the iPad uh, 10th generation. iPad 10th generation has the landscape camera. It's got this bold design to it. Mm -hmm. And really it's about providing choice. They can explore and understand which is the right iPad and which creates the best value for them. But at the end of the day, we want it to be this versatile product that they can discover and explore and use in a number of different ways. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think, you know, I think it's actually just, it's great that we have more choice available than ever. So let's talk about the Apple ecosystem where yeah. all the devices work together like perfectly. Yes. What are the ideas behind that? I think the, the biggest idea is that whether you own one Apple product or many Apple products, we want it to be natural and intuitive and easy for the, you to use. There's a word I love, which is automagic. Automagic. When a great experience is automagic, it just kind of happens the way you expect it to. So like you've got your iPad, you copy something and you go over to your Mac and you paste it and mm -hmm. it just happens. Mm -hmm. That's automagic. Mm -hmm. um, and that's our goal. That's mm -hmm. what we want. We want all these things to work together seamlessly and powerfully, mm -hmm. but we also want it to work in a way where you don't have to worry about, do I have all the settings set up mm -hmm. correctly? Mm -hmm. um, and so for us, fundamentally, the ecosystem is about tying however many products you have together in more and more powerful ways without compromising on ease of use and being intuitive. Right. I think we have quite limited of time. I might go through some of the opportunity for Thai developers yeah. or Thai user. What what can we do something with Apple? Yeah. So I, I think the, you know, and we've uh, we've got some great students here today um, that are, are great examples of, of what happens when you put powerful technology in the hands of incredibly creative individuals. We've got a high school student who's got five apps in the app store and he's 17. Uh, we've got a designer who is designing it you know, on the side while she's going to school. Um, and ultimately, I think what's amazing about Thai developers and, and Thai in general is just the, the creativity. And so really for us, it's about being able to tap into that and provide the underlying technologies and products that allow them to express who they are and kind of their, their core creativity. Any application that inspire you the most? <laughs> well, or the you wish to see more? Well, I mean, I think the, the, the great thing is we've got, you know, millions of apps designed specifically for iPad. Um, and but I, I love stories like, you know, Procreate, which I've been seeing some amazing work that's going on. And then, of course, you know, collaboration is at the core of what happens, you know, with many of our Thai students. And so Freeform, which is coming to uh, to the iPad, Same. I think is going to unleash that creativity as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just again, I come back to the fact that the iPad's about versatility. So my last question would be, I might ask on behalf of Thai technology startup, mm. if they want to be as successful as Apple, what you would suggest them? I think what I would suggest is stay true to your passion. Stay true to who you are, stay true to what you believe in, and just be relentless about going after your goals. And as we were talking about, stay curious. Stay curious, stay hungry, stay foolish. Thank you very well much. Well said. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you.